beach erosion and the projects to combat it, it's costing us big bucks in our region. Multi-million dollar sand replenishment projects are happening more and more frequently all over Hampton Roads. But new research could help us cut costs when it comes to beach rehab. New at 530, Philip Townsend explains. At times, it seems like a losing battle. One beach replenishment project wraps up, and another one in a different area is needed. Sand pumping most recently in Hampton, Cape Charles. It's needed every five years in areas like Avon and Buxton on the Outer Banks. And people are still hoping for movement on a replenishment project on Virginia Beach's Croatan coastline. Beach erosion, a chronic issue in our region, costing the state and localities tens of millions of dollars on these critical projects. That's why new research could help us adapt to these changes, rather than throw a Band-Aid on the problem of sea level rise. A renowned oceanographer in California has uncovered new evidence that sand doesn't always flow south in a particular area of San Diego. That notion has shaped efforts to rebuild beaches in that region for years. But design teams for these beach replenishment projects will now account for this new evidence, which means more efficient projects that hopefully will cost taxpayers less. Even better, these teams have been tasked with depicting how their designs can be adapted to different situations in different regions. Research that could make its way to our coast, potentially shaping new blueprints for these costly projects that we're taking on more frequently. So while these beach erosion projects could be pointless decades from now, we are actively finding ways to make them last and cost less in the immediate future, which makes the battle a little easier to bear. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.